Nigerian army is jubilating. Yeah, Nigerian army is jubilating over their success on IPOB and ESN. And they have come out to say that uh, yeah, IPOB and ESN can no longer en enjoy freedom to unleash death on egos who don't support their evil. Hmm. The proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB and its military branch Eastern Security Network are attempting to destabilize the nation according to the Nigeria army, according to them, which also reaffirmed that it would continue to preserve Nigeria's territorial integrity and sovereignty. The army claimed that by imposing the sit at home order, engaging in violent attacks on security personnel, beheading Nigerians, including Igbo people, destroying property, and engaging in other nefarious activities. These groups have illegally denied innocent citizens in the southeast region the right to freedom of movement and association. The army made this statement in response to inter society claim that the Nigerian military had collaborated with bandits and killer headers to commit crimes in the southeast area and Benue states. According to the report by the Punch, Brigadier General Uyema Nwachuku, Director of Army Public Relations, said that due to military drills taking place in the southeast ESN and IPOB are unable to slaughter innocent people there once more. He said it is on record that the Nigeria Army conducted and we still conduct series of exercises not only in the southeastern state but across all states of the Federation. This has reasonably reduced criminality, especially in the southeast. IPOB and ESN can no longer enjoy freedom of action to unleash death and mayhem on Ndigbo and other Nigerians who do not support their evil bid. What is their evil bid? They said they want to leave the country because country is not even doing well. Even the Nigeria army to the soldiers, they are the ones suffering. No? They are the ones that are being killed left, right and center by the so-called bandits. They are the ones suffering. Now, the Igbo said, the ESN said, they were be, ESN is, uh, was established because of a full and ES men. That is the problem we are talking about. When this man comes out, Governor Otom, saying that some some of the security people told him that uh, Buhari said they should not even go after full and yes men. If you talk about those who are committing atrocities on Nigerians, unleashing havoc on Nigerian people across board, they are full and yes men. But you have never seen, and uh, we have never seen this Nigerian army saying that uh, we have captured a uh, full and yes men because we know that they are the bandits. They have a uh, different. Uh, they have a uh, different positions. Some are uh, called them bandits. Some are going for the farmers and making life uncomfortable for them. So they are same or same. Boko Haram, they are same or same. But they have a uh, different uh, departments, if I may put it that way. But when we talk about Fulan Esme that are always all, all over the place, carrying AK-47, you will never, I've never seen them. I don't know if you have seen them. So you have never seen them, this so-called Nigerian army, arresting any of them. Then, when the governor talks, you want to counter it. Who, in his reasonable sense, will counter what a governor Tom said when we are seeing all of those things happening before our very high, since the coming of Buhari, that these guys, full and yes, men, have been doing all manner of things. We have never seen them arrest these people. It's only ESN. How can I pop that have that have cancelled? Sit at home order. You are still telling us they are the ones doing it. They say they are not the ones. And now the IPOB is accusing the Nigerian army collaborating with the bandits, unleashing mayhem in the southeast. And they will come out and tell you it is the IPOB. This is just un 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 unfortunate. Hi. Mm -mm. Honestly, the Nigerian army has been killing innocent Igbo youth in order to intimidate them with the pretext of looking for high pop. And even if you are looking for high pop, is high pop, that's my whole concern. Is high pop a terrorist group? That is what we need to be asking ourselves. But they are sounding this thing over and over again. Sounding it over and over again just to justify that uh, high pop is a terrorist group. And Buhari has been begging other countries to tag them. And which, those ones have never seen it. They, you think they don't see the injustice. See what uh, Oshibajo was told. So go back home, go and fix your economy. 
all these exchange rates that uh, you are having, you know, scattered all over the place, all the figures that you guys are just uh, 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 banding and accumulating, telling us, giving us nonsense figures, go back. They went back to the told them. They know what is happening in every aspect of what is happening, in all aspects of things happening in Nigeria. They know what is happening, but the government, you are just fooling yourself. The government is fooling itself by saying, oh, this and that. They just, they're just looking at you. And that's why, you know, it is it, it, so painful that they just look at black people as if they don't have sense. No, some people have just made it so. When we see some people going to Dubai, giving the country bad name, they, politicians are even worse. They will just be looking at them. And the manner of impunity to everything happening in this country by the so-called government is just at its peak. It's at its peak. Hmm. Military, Abu Bagu, police, navy, air force, and uh, DSS. All these groups have killed the Indigo people more than IPOP and ESN. Okay. Let's first correct uh, what is being said before saying it should on. Understand by reading that ESN main reason for existing is to secure the lives of the people and protect the land of Biafra people from the Marudian elders. That is just the, what they are selling out there. That is what they want to sell out there. That they are the one. How can they kill their people? Why? You know, it's, it's, it's so tiring, honestly. It's really, really tiring. They are them. Boko Haram is Islamic fundamentals and terrorists. So how can a person with good sense say or think that a uh, ESN is responsible for death of Igbos whom they are saving. But that's the narrative that the government is selling that selling now there and the majority of people are buying into it because they have an agenda. The government has an agenda and the agenda is to make it look real to the old world that these people they are terrorist group. They are not terrorist group. They are not ter terrorist group. I I stand to be corrected and i i made both to, to say that they are not terrorist group the nigeria government buhari and the rest they are playing games see what governor tom is saying we at least is that is it's, it's a serving governor you see is he from the southeast no he's not from the southeast so what are you talking about that he doesn't know what he's saying what is different from what a governor tom is saying with the revelation that a uh, namekano has made open there's no difference Okay, mm. can you imagine? IPOP are not criminals but workers for actualization of a sovereign state of Biafra. Brigadier Oyema, you are calling your brother terrorists because they have flushed out those you are working with from the bush. Why not go to Zamfara and see if you can come back alive? By God's grace, every weapon fashioned against Igbos. By Nigeria, enemy of Biafra, will backfire. Okay, you are one of them. You are happy with the IPOP's criminal activities in Igbo land. They target rich people for killing and kidnapping. IPOP people killing. <laughs> oh my God, we have a common criminals, just as we have common criminals uh, around. But say IPOP is a terrorist group, it's a lie. It is a lie. Now, the so-called terrorist group that are, in, are operating in the north, I have never seen them arresting any of their leaders or whatsoever been in camp see all of them see the way they just rescued themselves into jail based prison and now they've not been able to get them back and now they are giving a, a, a what's that i've forgotten that one that's a a what's that i've forgotten that guy's name the one that escaped from jail prison now they are giving him seven uh yes and they are giving a uh, evans uh, 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 life imprisonment hmm. So guys, that's just it. Let's hear your opinion on this.